what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire to the war let's play is the kingdom of mysore and in this episode we are attacking this small force next to the city of istanbul uh we can't auto resolve it because it will damage my assault forces uh in the resulting uh, attack so what we're going to do is we're going to fight this battle and i don't know i might keep them under siege actually here and funnel more troops up to fight the russians on the open field i think without quicklime attacking fortresses with with these troops is quite difficult especially if they have a proper defending army which they do anyway let's attack mr freund in the open field i think yeah i am i'm pretty sure that we probably want to fight more often in the on the battlefield rather than assaulting cities i think might not necessarily be the best, the quickest outcome, but I think it's probably the most reliable because we can defend quite well against the garrison. But attacking the garrison is a bit risky because our troops' morale isn't quite so good. We don't have a quick line to help thin out the ranks as much as we would like. So we are kind of reliant on, well, maybe mass, mass troops. Just sending in wave after wave after wave and eventually they'll run out of ammunition. But this should be fairly benign. There we go. This is one of the troop, one of the armies I've recruited in Egypt. I would wager. Not terrible, just not brilliant. A bit more conventional as well, because we've got a lot more cavalry. But we will be seeking to try and destroy for these Prussian units before they leave. Come on, that's right. Deploy. You're the left hand group here. So they're engaging us. Let's try and engage their horse artillery. Oh, it appears they don't want to. I've got two gun, three guns that can. Let's run my infantry up. So I'd like to be hitting these guys. Sars, General's bodyguards, dragoons. Square formation, send in the Felaim. You do not need to be disrupted, you can carry on advancing. I completely missed that. I think it's from the mist. Well, I just woke up, I need a coffee. Yeah, the light horse will be cut down from their horses. Oh, they're losing rapidly there. the bulk of the enemy are not ready for what's about to happen to them. And we today to engage the light infantry to the rear. Excellent. Now you men advance up as reinforcements. There goes the blunderbuss shot blunderbuss shotgunners. Keep bringing my guys around the flank. Hmm, these might be skirmishes, but they're being fired upon by troops that can fire at will. Or fire by rank, rather. Begin to push into the town. You men secure. 
Secure the armory. Actually spread, stretch these infantry units out just a little bit more. Whoops. I had accidentally had hold of one of those Fellaine units. My gunners. My Sipahi move up. Actually my Dragoons look like they want to have a go. My native lance is on the move. They can go after the generals to the rear. Bring in my Sipahi, bring in my Zamandari horsemen. You men drop into. You can't really drop into square. Lancers go for the general's bodyguard. How about you? So my Zimindori horsemen go after the blend of my shotgunners. My Sipahi charge on. The elephants push up. All of you men go after the hussars who killed one of their generals. They're going to mow down. The light infantry. Send my native lances after the Jaeger. My my Tipaki need to make their way past these cavalry defences. You chase them down, because they can go on and chase down the light infantry. I mean, looks like. Bad things are happening for everyone. And just storm. Oh no, there's defences here. Mob them. Who should you kill? Cease fire the guns. And kill those oh pounder crews. I suppose I want to make you run over here. Capture the armory. Although largely, I think. You can actually wait for them to come out. You kill them and go after that light infantry, and my Sipahi can go after the regiment of foot without worrying about defences. Slaughter them. Excellent, that's everyone. See, if you were running, you'd have got them by now. Firing their arrows. Doesn't matter. We got him. Nice. But yeah, so I am I am uncomfortable about attacking a fully equipped Russian garrison. Especially they've got their own light infantry and I can't really do much to uh, I can't really do much to trip them without causing massive losses to my myself. So I need to kind of make you guys hold Istanbul. I don't want them to attack this army, so they're not going to be sieging, they're just going to stand there. But what I can do... Bring you guys out of port. You men can sail in and... Demand the surrender of Greece, because Athens, because there is no garrison. In which case, you are also going to get involved. 
Land. Excellent. So, Greece, Greece, Greece. Yeah, protector of Dagestan. I'm not ready to attack Dagestan yet. So, we're going to build a garrison here. We're going to build a garrison at Athens and have them be ready to attack Patras. And we're going to build fortifications in case the worst comes to the worst. And it looks like we can actually recruit. We've got Isaray. We can recruit a reasonable army here. I mean, subject to limits. Curious thing now is to see what happens to these guys. All this giant movement of troops. What are they going to do? Because they are also fighting Russia. I think now is. I think now is also. The time where we commit. Okay, not sure why. Oh, right. Now is the time we commit our reinforcements here. They're going to also land them in Athens. Okay, going to land them there instead. That's a bit isolated. Where did you know? Didn't realise I was. Bring you men across too. Land them off the coast up here as well. Just give them a bit of support. They are a bit. They are really isolated there. Uh, do you know? Do you have anything worth? Oh, we're, we're sieging you. That's why. You go back into port. Everyone else here is replenishing, and again, we're doing the same thing. We're just going to hold. You men push up. This full strength army can advance. This reinforcing army can stay near Genoa. You need to stay near Genoa. We're going to blockade the port. Nice recruits a sloop to occupy Genoa's port. Excellent, excellent, excellent. In which case I might push you up to here as well. Let's rebuild the commercial basin. Okay, largely I think our raiding force can stay where it is. Because all the ports we want to interdict are being interdicted. Unless... No, Prussia and the United Provinces are being dealt with. I think we've got... Hmm. Keep you guys ready. Because we are going to get a, a, a Prussian invasion. If it's in the Americas, that's not so bad. It would be frustrating, but not so bad. Just recruit a bunch of troops in, in Caracas. Yeah, we're sieging New Mexico. Doing a lot of sieging. Okay, make sure everyone that needs to replenish is replenishing. You guys can't actually go after this Russian army here. What I might do... Okay, in India... These next armies, these two armies I'm going to recruit, I want to deploy to Copenhagen. One, two, one. Don't want any mortars. You're going to hop into here. You're waiting for one last guy. So then you, yeah, you and you. Okay, you're actually you've got some space now. So you've got your cavalry element. You've got your artillery. Seek warriors recruited. Okay, 
And then let's get a unit of Hindu warriors, something like that. Hello, Genoa. Yeah, smash him. Put them on the trade post. Dispatch a fleet. Plus a trade fleet. To meet them. Trade raided, that's us. Europe's the same. Brazil is always the same as I've checked here before. Yep. The East Indies. I mean, the only spots that we can't really directly see. Are these are the Courland. Courland and Denmark. Yeah, Greece is sat there desperately waiting for a spot. Okay, I think we're going to hit in turn and see what the enemy does, at which point there's probably not as much. I mean, it's tempting to sail in and smash them, but I really don't want to screw that up. I want to see if they push, if they try and bring some of their ship out. So one of you might not be. You're going to raid. Another one's going to cease raiding to make sure they can't leave. Uh -huh. uh, let's bring a 10-6-11. Take a Feleen out for a Dervish. Take over one Feleen unit. Just keep on recruiting. We can't ever stop. There we go. So the garrison in Amsterdam are coming out to attack us. So I think this is probably the best move to take on full power European nations. I mean, in general, unless I was attacking with maybe two or three armies at once, but then I don't. You don't want to throw everyone into the attack because then your garrison is weak, so then you're susceptible to counterattack. But I think it's easier, or it's more preferable, to bottle up a city, push troops past the city to act as a bulwark against enemy counterattack, and then you will take the enemy city in due course uh, as the enemy tries to break out. And worst comes to worst, if they do break your your sieging army, you can bring one of the units back from the front line. At least they'll be in good condition to take up the siege. At least that's just my opinion. We've gone past... Now most of the cities are all fortified. We've gone past the point at which we can swarm and obliterate enemy units. African infantry guards in the centre. Okay, so we're going to do our... Do a more traditional... Defensive line. So these kids are bashy on the left. They are their charge fodder. Ooh, interesting. My light troops out with some cavalry defenses here. The Amazons can also do it. So two guns that haven't been deployed. Let's deploy them at the back. Leave them limbered up for now. And then have some melee and skirmish cavalry on either flank. Okay, everyone's... Okay, let's take my... Native African infantry. Deploy them on the flank. It looks like the bulk of the enemy actually let's bring one out here there we go don't strengthen don't weaken our other flanks just yet and 
mean, you can engage. They're within your field of fire. Native Lance, let's go for their regiment of horse that's gone too close. Okay, let's... I'm going to speed up time, because right now... The, uh... So that we are on the... Ooh, let's maybe not put my general there. We are on the... We are the defenders here. They're meant to be attacking us, so... I mean, you can just sit there. Knock, knock a hole in the wall if they're going to be silly. I think I gave you a fast forward order. He'd rather shoot at the garrison provincial line. Okay. If nothing else, you may as well knock a hole in the walls, because at least that gives us some opportunity to later on push and... Actually, I might limber you up. Drop you here. Oh, who was that? No, oh, Swiss Mountain Jaeger came too close. Okay, maybe let's do maybe do the same with you. Limber you up and put you well, even then it's not so good firing positions here. You might actually stay where you are. You'll be useful here to blast this infantry formation as they advance, but it looks like they are forming up. They've come out the top, gone around, and now they're going to form up on the end of the line. To bring my Fellaino over. They have a mortar, so there's a, there's a limit on how far forward we can engage. Unlimba! So what I'm hoping is they are within. Ah, oh, they, they are out of shrapnel range. Still, hit this, hit the uh, the Swiss line. So you haven't got a good line on them from the other battery. fired high. But let's keep again. I'm going to keep this time compressed. It's a thing. They're waiting for the infantry on the edge to be in position. Then they're going to attack. But even if they don't attack, it's... Because what they might do is they might just reorganise. Shuffle around again. Ugh, like that. <laughs> then our targets have to change. I think we are just going to be silly and just kind of shuffle around for a bit. So I'll chop the recording here and bring you bring you guys back when something actually happens. Okay, now we have an enemy advance. So this militia unit ran all the way around here and they got within shrapnel shot of both of these artillery batteries. So I thought, what the hell? You guys, though. Bits of shrapnel shot. Militia. Mil oh, garrison provincial line. give you orders to preemptively engage with shrapnel shot as well, even though you're on the flank. They're going to take a bit longer to get into position. You just keep attacking the breach here, because it looks like they're probably going to, they might move out of it. blown a hole through. So we're going after this provincial line, but we managed to hit the militia as well.
You've got an opportunity to rack up a lot of kills here. 18 pounders. Yes, they are going to go through this breach as well, so... Attack the gr attack ground at the breach. There's a tree in the way, but you could get a bunch of kills. Miss. Miss. Detonates too early. Let's make them just attack a unit now. My cavalry out wide. See, they're advancing with previously what would have been reasonable numbers. Garrison line might be better. There you go. Now they're going to a run. Switch the cannons to shot. Bring my native lancers in to hit the enemy infantry here. Skirmishers are picking apart the line infantry. So they're going to form square, but it's probably going to be too late. Bring my Zamandari horsemen in to attack the people that are routing. Push my cavalry up on both flanks. Just shatter them for now. Push the line all the way up into the, in the next enemy flank. They're both shattered, shattered, broken. Gunners, Undumba. So Pahi go for the garrison line, trot my camels up into the flank of the 41st. Shattered and shattered. Get the skirmishes inside the fort. Master Shaw engage the Swiss line. They are qualitatively better, but we've got a loads more. In which case, actually, now let's bring my. So you go after that militia unit. Lance just go after the general's bodyguard because he's about to peek out. Advance up the camels. Hoping the camels scare the militia into routing. Get the Feline involved. Shattered, good stuff. Enemy general defeated. Cult fire the guns. Yep, they are shattered. Let's 
hit the citizenry. Keep hitting the Swiss line. Okay, good. Everyone's done for. All my infantry cease fire. Technically, we don't really have to. This is my... Oh yeah. yeah, you may as well chase them down. Tripled speed. I don't know if this is going to be that. If this is the last turn, in which case they are definitely... They will definitely die, but then at least, if nothing else, we can auto-resolve the final destruction if they are suitably destroyed. Right, kill their mortar crews. Oh god, some of these guys have routed a real funny direction. Camels are too slow. Now that So is there someone Ah oh, there is someone stuck there. Bring a fellow in unit over to deal with them. Oh no, they escape. Okay, cool. So then let's bring you. It may potentially be a problem. Okay, so they're the only ones that are left. People that are stuck in this door. I don't know why you're refusing to get in here. Ah, I guess... Whoever, luckily, there must have been additional troops for them and they managed to escape the field. Otherwise, I'd have to bring up my infantry and just shoot them time and time and time again until they all died. Or ran the time route. But either way... That is the bulk of the garrison of Amsterdam destroyed. So now it's Prussia's that turn to break the end turn cycle. But yeah, if I can land some troops on Copenhagen, land some troops on Königsberg, really start to spread them out. I mean, I have to wonder if they're going to be experiencing... Rebellion at home. That's why they've got so many troops centrally held. There's one Prussian navy. So sending troops westward. I mean, we're sieging Venice, but they've got lots of reinforcements, so I'm not plan intending to attack. <laughs> Uh, no. You started it. You need to give us a lot more than that before we even think about making peace. Yes, they've been rebuffed from the Russians. I mean, I am really curious about what they, they intend to do with those armies afloat. They can't really do anything except sail against Russia, which if they did, I wouldn't have a problem with. They've got an awful lot of troops. But they seem to be abandoning the Balkans. Largely. And if that's the case, I want to keep pushing up, don't I? I don't want to give them the opportunity to dig in. 
Especially if it means I can draw more economic assets to my empire than the Russians. Because if they elect to go for it, they can really go for it too. Yeah, come on, New Spain. Oh, they're going to be bringing up troops to try and relieve Mexico City. Oh, is Genoa going to... Yeah, attack a handful of my ships. That's fine. We're not looking to cross back over the strait anyway. We're here to stay. And that fleet is going to be knocked out through... Knocked out through the loss of their capital anyway. What? No, this army is depleted already. And that's a full... A full Prussian army. No. Sorry, Georgia. That was a big mistake to do that. Big mistake. Huge! Alright, come on, come on, come on. It's your game. You're going to go. Me, Lord. Yes, sir. The Yaro Jao. I give a low. Actually, what's going to happen is you're going to go here. You're going to come down to here. It's going to take a few turns anyway before we attack Calcutta. Derived. Excellent, so you're going to take over stewardship of this trade region, which is now completely ours. You can come back to India. I mean, we're, we're really forcing the value of these commodities down. New town emerges in Florida. Craft workshop. Tech advance. Mass production. Which is huge, because mass production, doesn't that reduce... Oh, it's interchangeable parts that reduces uh, upkeep. But mass production reduces recruitment cost, and it's and there's an increased bonus to town wealth, which is lovely, but it looks like that is actually the last thing that's, we're effectively, that's worth researching. So Raul Pindi, we can destroy the Judicial University, which means Lahore doesn't have to have a massive garrison anymore. I, mean, I suppose it could. It looks like it could have lost that massive garrison some time ago. Let's fortify Morocco. Fleet arrives. Sorted you out. Fleet arrives. Ooh, and no, ooh. Another army. Let's put them afloat, keep them afloat inside the English Channel for now. Recruitment report, some good recruitment. Workers riot in Savoy, as you would imagine. Because, I mean, understandably, they really don't like us. I think we're at a piece of Bavaria for now, but I think we are reaching the point where we want to start to squeeze them out of northern Italy. So let's take you and attack Christian Hefter. Very depleted, very cavalry heavy. But we want to start to squeeze them out of northern Italy and start to squeeze out of the Balkans as well. They're not particularly. Uh, profitable regions, but they are they're the ones we've got. <laughs> Especially when the enemy is in Western Europe is more entrenched. So we want to try and knock out some of their southern armies to force them to try redeploy. 
all my artillery form a massive gun line well protected from my infantry and in the name of the game here sorry infantry guards you're not going to get involved is lure them into my infantry into my melee infantry Make sure my kizobashi are fireable off I'm a Zimandari, rather. Kizobashi are with my war elephants on the other flank. General's going to join them. They're all elephants together. Let's just try and notionally pick some different targets for the guns before they automatically realise we're just all going to shoot at the same artillery piece. Run my Kizobashi cavalry up first, fire at will on. They'll outpace my elephants. And I've got to gun down the gendarmerie anyway. Get your carbines out. Oh my god! All my artillery aim at this unit of dragoons because I know one of them was targeting here fire it will off excellent the gendarmerie unit is a, is a smidge exposed Screw around. Let's get all my artillery to engage that dug in our horse artillery unit. Flying V. Go get them, elephants. my melee infantry once yet. Land van militia. My general bodyguard. And there goes the enemy general's bodyguard. Send one infantry unit to go down and attack the uh, that's dug in artillery. When my kids are actually up front. <clears throat> they're going to be fire at will. On. Kill the general. Shoot him in the back. Might not have a time to reload. make sure they don't go into these stakes because that would be a terrible way to lose elephants Christian where are you you're in here somewhere there he is got him A small Prussian stack dealt with. Let's just take you plus one more to hold this valley here because they can run down here. And you, man, are going to 
start to get into get into a bit of a rough and tumble. Okay, let's try and run armies through, see if they intercept. They do not. And you can't actually get to where you want to get to. Okay, you push in. And attack the Prussians there. Oh, and this area is just wide open. Let's do this. The reinforcing armies are very weak. Yes, yes, yes. We're finding those gaps and we're exploiting them. The main firepower of the Russian armies, the Prussian armies, are not at the front line, which is exactly what you want to see. Unsurprisingly, you want to see uh, you, you want to see the enemy not have his armies where you want to attack. Blinding strategy here from me, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go go full tilt. Swarm. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we're gonna be a happy medium. We're not gonna be defensive. We're not gonna be super off. Offensive. Keep my guns firing round shot at range. Keep all my same size infantry units together so I can deploy them easily. Let's deploy my melee infantry. Actually, I think I factor my infantry, Royal Infantry Guards in as melee infantry for the time being. Camel Nomads and Kizilbashi out on one flank, fireball off. Spahi, General's Bodyguard on the other. Advance up at speed. Yes, because of exactly stuff like that. Got a lot of my swordsmen in one go. Get my Kizilbashi out, fire a volley into these hussars. back okay so we are artillery's trying to oh they knocked out one gun team okay, they're gonna be engaging the enemy hussars can't form a square but we have Sikh warriors and dervishes right behind them I've got my light cavalry ready. Get my Kizilbashi up to stay in the front line. The light cavalry, light cavalry, stew. Dervishes and the warriors push up because our right flank is potentially vulnerable. Jump on the Hussars. Bring the Hindu warriors up on the flank. Cavalry charge in the centre. Our Islamic swordsmen will deal with them. Yeah, large enemy mass. Get my Sapahi up to attack the light cavalry sharpshooters. Get my Hindu warriors involved in this engagement. On the right, yeah, Sipahi, go for the sharpshooters. Bring my Hindu warriors over here because our Sikh warriors are engaged. Islamic swordsmen engage the Hussars. New men push up. We're going to get ready to surround. Elephants involved. So you may push up, hold the line, get the Islamic swordsman over to support the right flank. 
Get my Sapahi down here. Get my Sorelli to hit the Swiss Guards on the flank. Then I want to smash this concentration here, I think. Because you men can deal with that portion there. Bring the heavy cavalry in. Aim for the superior line infantry. Lance is dipped. Don't worry about the elephants for now. Camel nomads, Hindu warriors, and Kizilbashi are doing a number on this enemy army. Let's push my infantry up ahead. The Royal Indian Infantry Guards can also get stuck in. Now the trick is to keep rolling on up the combat. Excellent. Everyone push on to this central hub where they've got elite line infantry, Swiss guards. There they go. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. That's where the reinforcements are coming in from. Select. Form a line to meet them. Gotta be careful of the stakes. Royal Indian Infantry Guards plus Hindu Warriors advance up one side. Because of Bashi, pursue okay, everybody here. Kill the Swiss Guards, Sikh Warriors, Islamic Swordsmen. Yeah, kill the two units. There's a Guards unit and a Superior Line Infantry unit that were easy meat. Islamic Swordsmen charge the ha charge the Curassier. So my cavalry. Needs to go here, or probably here, then here. I know you don't want to run, but the enemy's running, and I want to try and get ahead of the ahead of the enemy before they before these enemy cavalry defenses start to dig in and cause problems. I'm sure my my Curassier are probably taking more damage than the Curassier are from the elephants. And they're electing to charge us, so we will charge them back. Cavalry move up rapidly because now they're around the defenses. I was very. No, General! Run my heavy cavalry up, run my musketeers up, run my Sikh warriors up because you've got a unit of light dragoons. Chase down these engineers. They're running right to you. You can kill them all. Actually, no. Don't bother chasing those men down. Pack the light dragoons. I'm not that interested in trying to ch in trying to uh, keep them bottled up. Actually, a wavering, so withdraw. Let's 
soll. Excellent. Last oh, my kids of Ashley Cowboy that was getting upset. Right, you killed the engineers. Shoot the militia. And fill up the gaps. Caught oh, on that unit of light infantry just got obliterated. Yeah, we're gonna continue. All the artillery ceasefire. We don't want anyone getting away. So you go for the Marines. six of them there we go that was that was beautiful that was beautiful oscar stan and supposedly cavalry up top but the kids of bashi musketeers they've done pretty well they've not lost many men either so in theory well, these shouldn't lose too many men from that engagement. Oh, 845. When will I ever learn? You men re replenish. Push you up. There we go. So Venice. I think of Venice is like a, a boil behind the lines that we've dealt with. Although, to be fair, that is prop. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let's just manually take Venice because right now Venice is in rebellion what I really don't want is for them to rebel become the kingdom of Venice create loads of alliances and then suddenly be stood there going well shh knackers I've been fighting over this territory for a while now I've lost many good Mysorean lives and then at the last minute they've just gone nah sorry we've got friends yeah it's like no Venice the, po the point of this attack wasn't to ensure your freedom it was to bring you into the fold Divide and rule a sound motto. United need a better one. I'm sure it is. But for now, I'm happy to I'm happy to divide and divide and rule. Cavalry up front. Mash him. Bring out my melee infantry in case they've got defenses, but apart from that. Got some defenses. Sipahi go for the gendarmerie. It's going to be a bit of a, a relatively bloody battle. Royal Indian cavalry guards. So you mean actually let's let's keep the cavalry off until these three melee units are here. You guys get free reign to chomp up the garrison militia. Blah. Cavalry is redeploying. They're abandoning their defences. These are my Hadi and my Royal Cavalry. Royal Indian Cavalry. No, these are my Sipahi, aren't they? No, my, these are my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. My Sipahi... Storming towards that gendarmerie. You're going to hit the Swiss Grenadiers. You're going to run up one side. You're going to run up the other side. They've killed their general. Now they must break.
These aren't just any fellas, these are Swiss Grenadiers. And you would say they're winning slightly. You think, yeah, well, not for long. The Gurkha's gonna gut this militia. Send one of you to chase them down, the others can move on. The gendarmerie, unsurprisingly, do not have a stomach for this sort of fight. It's interesting, actually, they're doing okay. It's the Islamic swordsmen that'll really do you in. The Hindu warriors are not, they're not quite so good. goes across to hit the militia. Keep attacking the gendarmerie. Okay, right. Don't, now don't attack the gendarmerie. Hit the garrison militia. Sorry, Gokas. Grenadiers. They did a valiant job, but it was a it was an incredibly inenviable task they had to do. Fight against melee troops while completely surrounded. Not that the gendarmerie got a backbone, but they're soon about to lose it. So East Venice is ours. So they're gonna they're gonna hate Oh I thought they were gonna hate us. Let's rebuild port, let's, let's recruit two sloops here. And this fleet requires or could do with two ships. recruit two third rates to boost their ranks Venice is already being Venice is already being converted well, let's get rid of the industrial building and keep well no so get rid of the pleasure gardens we need the money Excellent. Get everything repaired. Rebuild fortifications. Yeah, resistance to foreign occupation will go down. Religious unrest isn't super high. Nice. So you men are now up in position. How can we not? Do we not have permission to? Do you not have permission to push across and attack in the enemy? You monster. Okay, so I think we're ready to start to put the screws on Prussians in Western Europe. Bring up the troops. Make sure they are all replenishing. Ready the Iron Master's Forge. We've done all of these, all these fleet arrives and stuff. Yeah, we've done that. And now these are just all my generals becoming super generals. Let's get you repaired. Are going to see a rebellion here. OK. 
Okay. Can you leave Athens? You can. In which case then, Athens? Begin recruiting another army. Could probably do with crushing this army here. Bring up two armies. You hold here, you push up the west coast. Then take you and attack the army at Thessaloniki. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Mysore, and this is actually going quite well. See you everyone.